Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. When you're out having brunch or just a drink in general and Bloody Marys come up, do you have a friend who has this reaction? Bloody Marys? Ugh. No, thank you. Well, for those folks where it's too savory, we have the watermelon Bloody Mary. The bit of sweetness from the watermelon with a bit of salt makes it much more palatable to those who do not particularly enjoy tomato juice. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the subscribe and bell icon so you'll be notified every time we release a new video. And without any further ado, let's make a watermelon Bloody Mary. To build a watermelon Bloody Mary, we'll start with three dashes of the hot sauce of your choice. I am a big fan of Tapatio, but pick whichever one you like. You can always add more, or if you're a super spice fan, you can go with something like the last dab from Hot Ones, though. I think that would be a little over the top. Next, we're going to go with six ounces of fresh watermelon juice. Three ounces of tomato juice. Two ounces of vodka. Half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. A quarter teaspoon of sea salt, in this case kosher salt. And last but not least, an eighth of a teaspoon of celery seeds. Cap that off into a shaker tin with no ice, and we're just gonna give this a dry shake. Oftentimes folks will build their Bloody Mary uh, in a glass and just give it a light stir. You can do that, but I find it doesn't integrate the flavors nearly as well as just giving it a quick shake without ice. Pour our dry shake into the glass of your choice. And garnish with a wedge of watermelon. And there you have the Watermelon Bloody Mary. The main difference you get with this is the watermelon really cuts into the overly tomato savoriness of a traditional Bloody Mary. Now, again, if you're in that camp that doesn't particularly enjoy that, this is a great alternative. Or you can always stick with the original or go all watermelon. But then it's not really a Bloody Mary anymore. So maybe just add a dash of tomato juice. Play around with it and let us know what you think. Cheers and drinks made easy.